welcome to one of the most beautiful mansions in all of Evanston that was built more than 100 years ago. Welcome to the second floor. So I've just come up a beautiful staircase and on the landing there's gorgeous built-ins. There's also a series of windows that has a big stained glass panel. We'll see if that one stays. It's not historic. It was added later. I feel like it blocks a lot of light into the house and sort of visually competes with the beautiful leaded glass that's on either side, which mimics what we saw in the dining room. And when I saw that, it really made a huge impression on me because part of what we try and do at SSDB is to have recurring themes in the architecture. So if you see something somewhere, you might see it somewhere else. So the fact that they've done it here and did it so well so long ago, validation that we're doing the right thing. Part of the fun thing in working on a project like this is removing crazy things that previous owners did, like full painted marble columns. When we were first looking at the real estate plans, um, there was a square, a big blob on the plans and it was marked elevator. And I was really confused by that because to retrofit an elevator in a house of this era is like unheard of. And so it was one of the first things that I was really curious about to see, like, how did someone do that? We've never been able to do that. We tell everyone it's too hard. Well, lo and behold, it's not an elevator. It's a dumb waiter.